Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to be going over the spread operator, how it works in JavaScript, and how you are going to use it in React. And if you're from my last two videos where I talked about destructuring and mapping, you'll know that I'm doing this video because in one of my props videos I used uh, spread syntax and it confused a couple of people and I thought it would be really nice to just have a video solely dedicated to how the spread operator works, that way for the further videos in our tutorials when we start doing projects, we can use the spread operator and not have to worry too much about not understanding it so hopefully by the end of this video you walk away with a really good uh, explanation of how this works and just a quick reminder if you like and find value in this video please consider liking leaving a comment I try to read every single comment and subscribing it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and um, it helps get this video out to more people so let's jump into it funnily enough the Mozilla documentation on the spread syntax isn't the best in my opinion um, I personally was a bit confused when I was first trying to learn this a little bit ago um, and I looked at this documentation I sort of had no idea what was going on but I think there's one good example if we scroll down a bit uh, down here um, you can see here uh, in this example I really like this example so the spread operator is essentially just having an ellipses which are three dots right before either an array or an object and what that will do is sort of different depending on the situation you're using it. So let's take a look at this first example. In this first example, we have two different arrays, each with three numbers inside of them. And we essentially want to create one array um, that is the, join, uh, the concatenation of both of them. So one method to do it is with the concat. Uh, method and you can see here what they're doing here is they're saying array one is now equal to whatever array one was concatenated with array two and what this will do is just join the two together but another way to do it is using uh, the spread syntax so what the spread syntax will do is whenever you write dot 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 before an array it will essentially say okay I want to take all of those elements from whatever you know that array was and individually insert them into the data structure that is calling us so let's go ahead and make our own example here so you know let's say const r1 is equal to you know zero we'll make it sort of the same way uh const r2 equals you know uh uh let's say three four and five okay uh what did i mess up here i forgot a comma so if let's console so now let's say you know const r3 is equal to let's see what happens if we just put r1 and r2 and let's console dot log r3 you can see here if i were to console dot log it it would just be an array of arrays because we are straight up just passing obviously the arrays into this third array um and if we were to open it up you would see the first element is one array the, our first array and the second element is our second array but let's say I wanted to actually get all the elements from here into here and not have it nested that's where the spread operator comes in if you were to put that dot 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 it will spread everything from array one into this new array instead of having it as a nested object and as you can see here um, if we were to clear the console and let's go ahead and refresh we can see here this is what our new array looks like it is pretty much just a single a 1d array that has all the elements flattened inside of it now um, you know if you wanted to add let's say you know I wanted to add other elements before this you can see it works just fine um, and adding these in here will uh, pretty much just straight up just flatten whatever data you are passing in now let's go to another example and this example I think you're gonna use uh, a lot more and it, it actually comes from our destructuring uh, funny enough the destructuring documentation so over here you can see that um, if you watch our destructuring video you can see essentially what they're doing is they um, are assigning, um, you know, they have an array of five numbers and they are assigning the first number to A, the second number to B, and then they are using the spread operator to assign the rest of the numbers into this variable called rest. Now, this is probably one of the coolest examples of spreading um, when it comes to array spreading that there is, because what this allows you to do is um, if you, for example, want to, if you have an array like this and you want to pluck out, you know, just a couple of indexes, the first two or three indexes, and then after that, um, 
take out the entire uh, store the rest of the array somewhere else, well, you can just use the spread operator. Um, and essentially what it will do is it will assign these three elements, so everything that we didn't destructure ourselves, into an array itself. And I find that to be a really cool example. Now let's talk about how you are going to use the spread operator when it comes to, you know, things like objects. So let's create a simple object. We'll use our trusty employee object. So employees equals an array of objects. So let's say, you know, the first employee, his name is going to be Anthony and his ID is going to be, you know, ABC. And our second employee, his name is going to be, um, let's say, I don't know, George. And his ID is going to be like, uh, uh, I don't know, like QWE or something. <laughs> um, and let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this. Now, if we wanted to use the structuring here, or sorry, the spread operator, there are a couple of different ways. But let's first just create, you know, um, a basic uh, a basic example. Let's even just start with one employee. So we have over here a very basic employee uh, um, component, and what this will do is it will take in the name and the ID of the employee, and then just display it. So it'll say, you know, name and then whatever the employee's name is. So like Anthony and then ID and it'll be ABC. So it's a very basic component that we have here. Now, one of the things we can do is we can simply call employee, our employee um, <clears throat> component. Ooh, let's make sure we spell that right. And we can say, you know, name, we can pass in the props, just like we did in the props video and say name equals, you know, employ, uh, let's say employee zero, or let's, you know, const like first employee is equal to employee of zero. And we could say, you know, first employee dot name, and then ID is equal to first employee dot ID. Okay. So we can go ahead and save that. Let's get rid of this text over here. And as you can see, we have it um, where it will pass in, you know, the name and the ID just from uh, that variable. Now, what we can do to simplify this is simply use the spread operator with our object. So we can go ahead and instead of passing, you know, what if, for example, instead of just name and ID, we had name, we had address, we had salary, we had, you know, a lot of different variables. We wouldn't want to, you know, one by one say like, you know, salary equals like first employee dot salary. And like, um, you know, for example, address equals like first employee dot address. As you can see, it starts to, you know, um, really uh, sort of make our code a lot more unreadable and it gets longer and longer depending on how much you have here. And you will see that in a lot of real, real world applications, um, this can get pretty big. So um, instead, what you can do is you can go ahead and delete all of this and you can actually take our first, instead of writing all of the stuff where we do, you know, first employee dot address, first employee dot name, you can go ahead and just do dot 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 in a map employee first employee just like that and what that will actually do is um, it will spread all of these parameters all of these attributes of your object as attributes themselves into our props object which gets passed into here um, and you'll probably be wondering like okay why can't I just pass in first employee just like that and the reason is when you pass in just first employee that will just pass in if I were to console.log my props here. That will straight up just pass in the entire object itself. The same way in our array example, um, it would have just passed in the entire array itself. But when we actually wrap it around in our <clears throat> wrap it around in another map and destructure it, it will pass in, as you can see here from the props now, instead of what it was doing above, which was passing in, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> the actual object itself, it is passing in all the attributes um, from that object itself into the actual employee component itself. <clears throat> So this is probably going to be, you know, uh, the most uh, the most um, use case, the the most common use case of this destructuring uh, method that you are going to get. Another cool use case that I like to do sometimes. Um, let's get rid of all of this stuff. Is for example, 
um, if I am trying to create, you can do the same thing as what we did with arrays as objects. So for example, if I have, you know, like, um, let's say a base object. So like, you know, base employee object and let's, you know, maybe throw some attributes in there um, that is common to all employees. So for example, um, <clears throat> let's say role is, let's, you know, make something random up, like role is employee, and let's say the company, since all the employees are gonna be from the same company, let's say the company is, you know, like a code sandbox or something. Well, if we wanted to add this to our first employee object, what we could do here is we can make this first employee object an object, and we can go ahead and spread all the, um, spread, are uh, all the attributes from our base employee object and then also spread all the attributes from our employee zero object. And now you can see here, if I were to console, let's get rid of this console log just so it doesn't confuse anyone. Um, if I were to go ahead and console.log first employee, and let's go ahead and clear this and refresh, you can see here that it has all the same attributes that you know um, the employee actually had plus our base attributes like what company they work for and what their role is in that company um, so this uh, is a pretty cool application of the spread operator it's sort of a basic and 99% of the time you're going to be using it with basic use cases like that but I'm really uh, just excited uh, now that we got the sort of spread operator down and you know how the spread works um, going forward and showing you some of even the more complex cases of using the spread operator in you know projects we are going to do in the future but just so you guys know what the spread operator does and how it works I feel like these examples are um, good enough to the point where if you see someone else's code or you look on Stack Overflow and you see it being used it'll give you an understanding of what they are using it for and how they are using it so if you found value in this video like I said before I would love if you consider subscribing leaving a comment really helps with the YouTube algorithm even liking the video and I hope you're all staying safe and I will see you guys in the next video